when I was taking the soap making class, there's also this stuff, which is butterfly pea flower powder. So it's powder from the butterfly pea, which is a pea plant. Legume, legume, I don't know how to pronounce it. And of course they're just going to throw that out, so naturally I wanted to take some home with me. I want to do several acid base experiments. I have here a noodle that was soaked in red cabbage juice. I have some red cabbage juice. And I also, also have some indigo. And all of them are sort of blue acid base things. So I thought I'd take some of this, put it in here, put in a little water. I think this is not actually water soluble. Uh, we'll find out. Yeah, right, I'm, I'm being stingy here. But I spread that out. Yeah, maybe I should do a little more. I guess I'll use the stick. So it's a it's a lovely blue, sort of indigo kind of blue. Um, I think I want to divide this between two cups. Spread some out there, spread some out there. I've got the original here. Now I've got some lemon powder. There's the lemon juice. I should, so I'll use the pink dropper, a clear dropper for the base, and a blue dropper for the acid. All right, so let's is the baking soda here. So let's try just a little drop of it. Ooh, turns it with a cyan blue-green. And we'll try the acid. And that turns it pink. And we'll do the noodle too. All right, so baking soda. This is um, red cabbage. And let's put some acid on the other end. It's actually looking kind of gray, but does that help? Okay, I'm starting to see just a hint of blue green there. This is definitely pink. This is some red cabbage liquid. I'm going to use my water droplet to put a little over here, a little over here, a little over here. So if I add the acid, that turns pink pretty clearly. If I add the base, let me turn it so it's in a better light. Green is still hard to see on this camera. I'm seeing it by my eyes pretty well. So I can get these three colors anyway with the red cabbage. Okay, I have indigo. This was for body art, but originally the crystals were for dyeing. And they're mixed with, um, with an alkaline. Just knock some of the crystals in there. They're in a plastic bag in here. but I only want a little bit. But they're mixed with something to give it an alkaline mixture, which is what makes the indigo soluble. And some water. And you can see it's sort of a blue. There's sort of a scum on top. But now it's a little more green. 
I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can get a drop out on the paper. It starts out kind of this green when it's dissolved, and then uh, when it undissolves, it, it turns more blue. I use the water dropper again. It would help if I'm in camera range. If I spread this out, I don't know if you can see. It's sort of a, a greenish blue. Maybe you can see there's sort of a scum on top. Where it hits the air, it's indigo, but then when it's alkaline, it should turn it soluble and green. All right, so let's see what happens when we add a base. Alright, I didn't dilute it enough. I think it's too dark to really see what's going on. But to me, that looks a little bit more greenish. If I add the acid, that should make it precipitate. I'm using the other end here. No, I'm not really seeing much difference. Well, let's try it on a bit of cloth. And I believe this is the untainted stuff. Yeah, okay, this isn't going to work very well. And it all got mixed together. Oh well. Oh, look, there's the acid base reaction. Oh. The acids and bases kind of interacted. This is the original stuff with a bit of scum. Yeah, okay, it's not absorbing into the cloth. Scratch that all up. I'm gonna have blue hands. Ah, oh, rats! Because, of course, it will also stick to the skin. Alright, there we go. take the acid and put it on the cloth and see if that makes a difference. Yeah, no. Other than dilution, I'm not seeing a difference. How about more baking soda? That actually looks like it lightened up a tiny bit more than dilution would account for, but not really enough for me to be sure. Okay, I'm done with the color experiments. That was fun decided to try a little bit more. I'm reusing the cup because I don't really care about contamination. A little more in there. This is the red cabbage juice. And I put a lot of the baking soda. I don't know, can you see the green? Or does it just look gray? To me, it looks much brighter green in real life than it looks on the screen. I think that's about far, as far as that's going to go. And for the acid, it doesn't take very much. If I use a lot, I think that's about as far as that's going to go. Here's the original color. Ta-da! Okay, that was fun. Butterfly pea. Okay, that I think I can start to see the green a little bit more. And the pink you've seen. And let's try the, the indigo again. See if I can get that to turn. No, it's just kind of scumming on top. Oh well. But the butterfly pea looks kind of cool. What if I add some acid to that? Oh, see? It's bubbling. Ha! What fun. Don't worry, it's just baking soda and citric acid. No, no big danger here. Pretty. All right, time to clean up. Nah, got to do one more thing. Acid, base, whee! Oh, I 
happens if I mix in the butterfly pea flower? Not a lot. Okay. I really love playing with color. Okay, so is that? Can you see the green now? This is the acid and this is the base on the noodles. I can see the green pretty brightly, but on my screen it just doesn't, it still looks kind of dull, but I'm starting to see it a little bit. All right, and I have one more thing I want to try. I'm going to add some bluing. I just want to drop. I don't think this is going to turn in acids and bases. Try the base. To me, that just looks like dilution. Acid on this side. All right, that's the acid mix mixing with the base. Always fun. No, I don't think the acid's doing anything. Okay, so bluing is acid-base stable, at least by my crude tests.